For the word of God is alive and powerful. Hebrews 4.12 Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about how I prep my natural hair for wigs. This is one of my go-to protective styles. The products that I'll be using is the Carol's Daughters Wash Day Delight Shampoo and Conditioner, complimentary from Influencer. I got the Wash Day Delight Sulfate Free Shampoo and Conditioner with Rose Water. Starting off, I love how this shampoo smells. The shampoo comes in this functional bottle with a nozzle attachment. This makes it easy to focus the shampoo on my scalp. Making sure my scalp is clean is important for my healthy hair journey. I noticed while using the shampoo, it took some time for the shampoo to lather up. I have type 4 hair and my hair needs all the moisture it can get. My hair felt a bit dry, stripped, and tangled after using the shampoo, but my scalp felt clean. For me, I would use a shampoo if I had in box braids or twists because it gets my scalp clean and it will prevent buildup on my hair, but I wouldn't use this on a weekly basis. I am used to having slip when using conditioner. With this conditioner, it has no slip whatsoever. The conditioner has a jelly-like texture to it, but it turns into cream. While using it, the conditioner stayed in the jelly-like texture. Because of that, the product sat on top of my hair and didn't absorb into my hair strands. I did notice that some of the moisture came back to my curls after using the conditioner. However, it was difficult to finger detangle my hair. This is how the conditioner looked on my hair. After I finished washing my hair, I blew it out and put some cane rolls in my hair. I like to start my cane rolls a bit back from my edges to prevent pulling and breakage.
I don't know about you, but doing cane rolls in my hair are a workout in itself. My parts are not that neat, but it's okay, as long as my cane rolls lay flat. I use some edge control to smooth back my edges. Since my scalp is clean, I usually don't put any oil or grease on my scalp. After applying the wig, I like to comb and brush it out to remove any tangles. I use a curling wand to flatten the top of the wig. This is key to making your wigs lay flat and look as natural as possible. If you don't have a curling wand, you can use a hot comb or a blow dryer. And this is the final result on how I prep my natural hair for wigs. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!